All right, what's going on guys? Today we got ourselves a pretty serious situation. We have a category 5 code Eugene. All right, so this is a dangerous situation. We must proceed with caution. The guy in this video, I'm pretty sure is a split second away from unloading his full magazine at any moment. I'm seriously a little bit concerned for the people in this video. So, what are we actually going to be watching? You might be asking yourself, right? Well, it's basically this man who I, I don't know I guess he thought it would be funny if he dressed up as the Joker from Batman and then just went into a random classroom and started like talking to them with quotes from the movie and then at the end he like sings happy birthday to some I don't know what the fuck this is but I think the saddest part about the whole thing right is that this guy's probably like 20 years old somewhere around that range because he's going into a college classroom all right this isn't like a high school or a middle school or something this is a college so it wouldn't be that bad in my opinion if it was like a nine-year-old kid who was doing this be like oh okay you know that's kind of funny but when you're a grown-ass man doing this shit it's not funny anymore man now it becomes scary now i'm concerned now I gotta fear for my safety, dude, because this is too much, dude. You can't be going around doing this. So anyways, let's go ahead and play the clip, and then we can discuss it more. Let's go. And here we go. Before we get any further into this, can we all just stop and take a second to realize exactly what we're looking at here? This dude literally has a trench coat on and a gun. Now, I understand, obviously, the gun is fake, but even so, I, I don't think you're allowed to bring a fake gun to school or a real gun. There there's no guns allowed on fucking school campuses, so I don't know how this dude is getting away with that fake gun or not. And also, let me just say, can we not ignore his hair, please? I don't know if that's his real hair. I hope that's not his real hair. I hope maybe he's just like styled it like that to do this uh, prank or whatever. But I think it is his actual haircut. And I think we all need to just acknowledge that this dude is really rocking a fucking mullet in the year 2016. So just, just let that soak into the back of your mind for a second. All right, just let's all just do a little recap here. This dude has a trench coat, a gun, his face is painted, and he has a mullet and he has green hair. So just let that soak in for a second while we watch the rest of the video. Yo, did y'all notice what that girl did whenever she saw this dude? She tried so hard to avoid this fucking freak that she literally stepped in a full pile of mud rather than get close to this guy. Look at that shit on the ground right there. She stepped in that just because she didn't want to be too close to the dude. It, look, she even like leaned away a little bit whenever he was right beside her. Like she tried so hard to avoid this guy. Make sure we're all solid. What the hell did this guy just do? As soon as he got into the school, he like cocked his gun back and like looked at the fucking ammo or something. Dude was reloading the Spaz 12 as soon as he fucking got inside the school. Is that a fake gun? I don't know. Why the fuck did he just check the ammo on it? All right, hold up. I got a question. Why the fuck is everyone reacting so calmly to this situation? I mean, the most they did was just kind of scream a little bit, and that was it. Listen here. If a dude walks up into my motherfucking classroom with a trench coat 
and a gun, I'm getting the fuck out of there. I don't care if it's a fake gun or not. I'm not about to stick around and find out whether the shit is real. As soon as I see that, I would have seen him walking up by the fucking window, and I would have already got my shit, and I would have been out the door before he even came in there. I'm out, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to stick around and be like, oh, is that a fake gun? Oh, you got me, bro. Prank. Haha, <laughs> funny. No. If this freak came up into the classroom, I would have literally, listen, I'm being so fucking serious, 100% serious when I say this, I would have ran out the, literally, Usain Bolt, full speed out the door, don't give a fuck about nobody else, so I don't understand how not one person thought like, hey, this is kind of weird, maybe uh, I should leave, this is, this is a bad situation, you know, I should probably get the fuck out of here. They're lucky that this was just a joke or whatever, because they all could have been dead easily. Did you see how easy it was for this dude to do this? He literally walked across campus with the gun, no one said shit to him, it was just, no one stopped him, literally just walked right into the classroom, nobody stopped him, no security. If Eugene really wanted to fire off off the drum mag in your classroom it would be so fucking easy for him to do so that's what's scary all right that's what's so fucking scary is how easy it is for something like this to really happen like this may be a joke or whatever but someone who actually wanted to do this could have easily done the same thing Hello, beautiful. <laughs> and you are beautiful. You're not nervous. Is it the scars? <laughs> you want to know how I got them? Hmm? You see, I had a wife. She was beautiful like you. She tells me I ought to smile more. She gambles and she gets in the shots. I just want to see her smile again. Dude, he's literally trying to reenact the scene from the movie word for word. What the fuck am I? First of all, where is the teacher? How has the teacher not been like, hey, get the fuck out of my classroom? First of all, this is college. This ain't free public education. This is college. They're paying money to go to this class to learn to fucking get an education. And you got this fucking weirdo coming in there, distracting everyone, interrupting the lesson, so he can carry out some weird fucking fantasy that he's the Joker. What is going on? Where is the teacher? The teacher needs to fucking get some control of the classroom and tell this dude to get the fuck out. What? I'll be mad. I don't think people are paying $20,000 a year so some fucking idiot can come in there and teach them about Batman. You know what I mean? What the fuck is going on? And if you don't smile, then people like me will burst in your lectures to ask you one simple question. Why so serious? <laughs> and on that note, I think we all need to band together to sing... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. I did do some further investigation into what exactly this video was. I don't know how credible this information is, but this is what people are saying. It seems that the girl in the video, the girl that he like called up to the front of the class was his girlfriend, which was definitely a little bit hard to believe that this dude actually has a girlfriend, but at the same time, we all can see what she looks like, so uh, no comment on that one, alright, we won't say anything, but apparently this is some sort of like birthday surprise that he did for her, I don't know man, pretty strange, I don't know why she would even want that, That that's not something I can see people actually wanting to happen but regardless this doesn't really change anything that I said earlier in the video all it does is at least give us some context for the video which is pretty cool but what did we learn today okay if a dude walks up into your classroom with a fucking
fucking trench coat and a gun. You need to get out of there, alright? Let me just give you this advice right here. Maybe 9 times out of 10, it's a joke or a prank or it's not a serious situation. But that one time where it really is Eugene and he's finally come to get Master Prestige in real life, he got the extended clip, he's got the stun grenades, you ain't leaving. You don't want to be there, alright? You don't want to take that chance, so it's better to be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind, alright? Anytime you see a dude like this walking up into your classroom, I think it's just a better idea to not take the risk and get the fuck out of there. So anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out. You got a secret, like you victorious, I'm back on a Tuesday and fuck it feels glorious. I'm on the back beat, sipping in the back seat, listening to NSYNC, no, not backstreet. Yes, I can get it on my mind, my own mind, while I'm waving at the window like bye, bye, bye.